is up guys and I have a drink on here and in this video I'm going to give you an update on my portal level <coughs> so let's go check it out all right so the first difference you'll see is the name I've renamed it from fully functional to flawless because that is what it is it is flawless the one thing that doesn't work with it which I know that's not the definition of flawless but the one flaw is I don't believe it's my fault it's like the endless portal where you shoot one above you and one below you and you fall continuously you go so fast it like completely glitches out I, I think it's the game it's not really my fault but anyway let's go check it out tons of new things if you want to pause and read the description but yeah you'll see a cinematic there is now a goal you actually try to do something so, first difference, it's first person, obviously, but that's, I mean, that is actually kind of important, because it allows me to do this. Notice how I actually get shot out the correct way, that is awesome. Second thing, if I place a portal below me, normally it like freaks out, but now, if I, there, I only teleport once, which is extremely helpful. So let's now use momentum to get to the chest. Really high up, isn't it? Well, if I put one here, and one here, not there, here, <laughs> and jump from the upper one to the lower one continuously, I'm going to reach it. With my last one, this would not have worked at all. Works perfectly. And one more time, for good measure. Alright. And I win. I get a cube. That I can throw. <laughs> Here, check this out. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, did it work? No, it didn't work. Sorry. There. <laughs> He's really glitchy. And I realize it's smaller now. I didn't really care about that. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's basically the level. Oh, bottom right controls. So here, here they are. And if I hold Z, it explains how I got to the chest. <laughs> the cube is... See, the cube freaks out. Um, the player doesn't. The cube, I... Yeah, uh, whatever. So you can, like, throw it. That was a fail. And it comes out. <laughs> uh, that's basically it. Here is the part that doesn't work. I'll show you. You'd think this would work. And it does for like three times. But then it completely glitches out and teleports me where the template is. It's just really... Uh. So you guys wanted to see the code. So let's check it out. So, okay. Basically... This is the, oh my god, this is the logic to make me grow, like I enter a portal, I shrink, and then I grow back. That is just so I don't spawn into the ground. Uh, I, oops, I, I don't, I'll check if it's actually necessary, I think it is, but whatever. This is the code to teleport me. So all of the uh, portal code, so to speak, is in this cube. It starts on, I've said it to start on page 5, so basically, this is uh, the code that tells it to not teleport me until both are placed. So, after the green ball is placed, and after the purple ball is placed, go to page 1. Or, after the purple is placed, then the green ball, go to page 1. And that's where the code actually starts, page 1. When the portal sees you, so when you're in its, uh, right here, if you can see that, the vision sensor thing, when um, the player is in that, set the speed, set the variable speed to the player's current speed. Then go to page three. So page three. Sorry, uh, purple portal. Right. So when the purple portal sees you, go to page three. Um, sets the position of the player to the green portal. Sets the forward direction to the green portals. And sets the velocity to zero. It plays a sound, it plays the whooshing sound you hear, 
And then, if uh, the speed from the last page is greater than 6, it has the green portal shoot uh, the player at that speed. If the speed is less than 6, it just has the green portal shoot at 6. So this is basically the minimum velocity uh, you're going to get shot out. Not velocity, speed, sorry. And then go to page 2. This code is um, preventing the player from teleporting back and forth really, really quickly. So when the player is not in the green portal, and when the player is not in the purple portal, uh, go to page 1. And then it restarts from there. And it's the same code for uh, the green to the purple, only on page 4, as you can see. Same exact code. And that's it. That is the teleportation logic. Uh, the logic in this thing, it just, just roll. <laughs> and uh, the purple portal direction is forward. I don't know if that, the global works or anything. I'm, whatever. But it works right now, so I just left it. Um, the cube portal logic, it's the same exact thing. Like, exactly. Except for it's the cube. And the, oh, I already showed you that. And how about the cinematics logic? So it starts on a black screen, starts on fade, and then in one second goes to page two. Uh, it, it goes to the fixed camera. In four seconds it's destroyed. In three seconds it's fa it fades for one second. And in, in four three seconds it displays the message, can you get the chest? And that's basically it. It's really, really simple. Uh, the cube, the, uh, the chest logic, when you press enter, it switches pages to two. So it powers it on. For one second, it displays this. And then in two seconds, it uh, switches to page three. And it also uh, makes the cube visible and collidable. And it keeps displaying this, keeps doing that. But. Uh, this is this uh, control is now permanently available. Once you press enter, it shoot it. Uh, so it makes the cubes forward, you're forward, and then it shoots. I, I don't think this is even necessary, but whatever. It shoots the uh, cube in the direction of the camera. Oh, you shoot the cube. So it, it teleports to you, then you shoot it in the direction of uh, that you're facing at a speed of 25. So guys, that's that's the portal level. I am not going to be editing this specific level, level anymore because it's it's complete. Let's check out the the new project I'm working on. I should not be a co-creator. The only reason I'm a co-creator is because I remixed my own level. It doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Uh, it's called Test Your Portal Skills. Test Your Portal Gun Skills. This is a very, very big work in progress. I've got the respawn system, though. So you press C, and you respawn at the exclamation point. The exclamation point is going to be moving as you progress, but right now it's just there. and keeps track of how many times you respawn. If you fall off, get a black screen, press C to respawn. Adds one to the number of respawns. Um, so if I, I've added this, this, uh, you're not able to place a purple portal on this terrain. I mean, you can do it with green, but I, I just haven't updated. But still, works really well. This is basically going to be a big obstacle course. Right, so you're gonna try to get through it without dying at all, and it's gonna be challenging. There's only one like uh, challenge mission thing so far, and it's to get here. And as you see, you're not supposed to jump; you're supposed to teleport. But yeah, that is that's the progress of my portal stuff. When I finish this, it's it's gonna be like an actual game. It's gonna be pretty cool. So guys, I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot more coming. So. See you guys later.